Remember that Jesus lived for 33 years. He died at the age of 33. 30 years he lived in this little town of Nazareth. And three years of his public life he spent mostly in Galilee where we are staying. And tomorrow we'll be right in the lake where he performed a lot of his miracles and where he found his first 12 disciples. Most of the disciples, except Saint Matthew, who was a BIR collector, all of them were fishermen. He found them right around the Sea of Galilee. So 30 years, Joseph lived in this town, neighbor of the Blessed Brother, and they were engaged to be married. Remember when Jesus was lost during a, a, a trip to Jerusalem. From here, they walked to Jerusalem. I don't know, uh, maybe in a camel, but he was lost along the way. After three days, Joseph and Mary found Jesus in the temple. Remember that reprimand, Mary said to Jesus, why did you do this to us? Your father and I had been looking for you for three days. Here, right in this church, was the house of Mary, when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary to announce that she would be the mother of God. Now, I'd like to, I'd like to tell you something. Do not think that when we or any of these guys or any of us tell you this is this was where the house of Mary was, maybe maybe it was really not the exact sign. When we were coming here, uh, the the guide pointed to a, a well, Mary's well, and he said this must be the well where Mary used to fetch water. Maybe that was the well, maybe somewhere else. In the year 4,000, 2,000 years from now, if someone goes to Legaspi and maybe looks for the house of like Beth Stebes, where was the house of Beth Stebes 2,000 years ago? Maybe someone points to a house in Puro and, and says this was the house of Beth Stebes. And that was not the house of Beth Stevens, because who knows 2,000 years ago. But remember, we're coming here with faith. And with faith, we know, like, okay, think of Nazareth, where Mary lived. Think of Nazareth, the house of Mary, where the angel Gabriel appeared and said, Mary, you will be the mother of God. And Mary was disturbed. Not just disturbed, I think distressed. How can this be to be a mother when I have no relations with any man? And you know that Joseph was not, the pictures we see of Joseph is an old man, as old as I am, kubung kubung pilay pilay. He must be a dusty young man, young man engaged to be in Joseph to marry. They were engaged to be to be uh, uh, to be uh, married. So Mary did not understand. He could not understand. But when the angel said, "Mary, I came from God. This is the message of God," and immediately the Blessed Mother said, "Be it done to me according to your word." Now, how many times in life do we not understand the ways of God? God's ways are not our ways. His will is not our will. I think it's just a secret. One among us here, Mila, is parable. Some years ago, a few years ago, her husband died. Just said, oh, I don't know how, how long her daughter, I think, was died in a car accident. 
her son died in a car accident. And then, just a few months, another son, until now, disappeared and is missing. If you were Mila, will you not doubt the mercy of God? I don't know. Said, Lord, where are you? Why is it happening to me? Why me? Uh, why me, Lord? Not that I go for the Lord. You have another, please, please. You have another. Si, ano? Si Nita, Nita Gonsena. Some years ago, Nita Gonsena prophet said, Father, I want to build a shrine to our Blessed Mother. And I said, well, it's a beautiful idea, Mila, but how about your children? It will cost, I don't know, how much? Will, will they not object? Will they not? I said, no. I, I talked to them. I, I'm going to build a church. So she built a beautiful shrine to Lady of Guadalupe. A beautiful shrine. You all know this shrine. And just when the shrine was about to be completed, she was diagnosed of cancer. I interviewed her once on TV during the, the uh, uh, Lent and during the Holy Week. And I said, Mila, did you ever, like, nagbasol ka sa Diyos? na natatako pa kaguran na I offered all this thing to you I convinced my children not to object to spending money which is supposed to be there to build up this church not just when I am about to finish this beautiful project you gave me a terminal cancer and me and 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 uh, and uh, I don't some of you might have seen that on TV Sabi ni, sabi ni, uh, uh, Mrs. Gonsena, sabi ni, never, never father, I never doubted, I never, what is this, I never, uh, uh, dey ako nang basul sa Diyos. I heard this story of Mila, it, not, 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 long before the, uh, before the, uh, the, uh, pilgrimage, because she used to work with, uh, Dr. Peralta, si June, from Ched. And at that time, uh, June was asking me to pray for her missing son. But I never knew until much later about the two other incidents of her life. Tell us first about the death of your husband. Uh, actually, my husband died of heart attack in October 24, 2005. Um, 68. And... Uh, 45 days after, my son, who was a for former seaman, now a businessman with a drugstore in Sorsogon. Um, before, before he went to a meeting in Legaspi, he passed by the tomb of his father, maybe praying. Uh, and then when he attended a meeting at La Roca, a meeting of uh, the Big Ba. These are the uh, professional uh, cockfighters association. Um, at around 8 o'clock, the meeting started and ended at around 10.30 in the evening. And after that, uh, the wife was uh, thinking that he would come home and dropped by the drugstore in the early morning but no one appeared and at around 11 o'clock somebody called the husband the wife and he said mapirakon ang asawa mo mahambugon and malakas magpusta sa sabon yun lang and then uh, she was also told second call sabi when we reach diet we will call for you and prepare 12 million. San man kami kukuha noon. And so, uh, I was then having a meeting at NEDA. And from NEDA, I should go to the Vine Ward for, to deliver the message of the director. But still, I was able to, to go to the Vine Ward, delegate the message to somebody, went back to the office, and told the director, Sir, I have a, a, very, a very serious problem. And I must almost collapsed in the office. And then Director Peralta accompanied me to Recom 5. 
to report the matter to the so to the office and at around five o'clock i was fetched by my children my other children back to sorsogon but uh we were really uh, we we just concentrate ourselves in the house of my daughter he who is a, a medical doctor kasi sabi niya mama if something happens to you at least you are with me and uh, we all stayed for one week we all stayed with her and uh, we were not able to go around because we see people around the house uh, others were uh, trying to go to the house of my son who was like selling books looking for my son so iba talaga yung pangyayari although this the couple had no children yet though they were uh, having a one year treatment for for also to give birth to a child uh, and then later on we were praying every hour prayer and every time the dog barks we would just like we would just see each other because we do not know what will happen to us you know my family is not a well-to-do family we are just simple family kaya sabi ko ang senior sabi ko bakit kaya I'll end up with just one thought by the way what a beautiful thing we were right here at the Church of the Annunciation at 12 noon. Remember that uh, to celebrate the, the, uh, the mystery of the Annunciation, we pray what we call the Angelus. From here, after the Annunciation, the Blessed Mother was disturbed. She could not understand anything that was happening. All she did was rush to a, a hill called Encare. That's where we are going tomorrow. To when you are you have troubles, where you are in pain, when you are so happy, the first thing you do is to share it with someone. And he, she wanted to share the disturbance, the pain, the sorrow with her cousin Elizabeth, the mother of Saint John the Baptist. She too was bearing a son at the age of I think 90 years old. So uh, just one thought: Why did God? not announced first to all the world that this lady, this girl, Mary, would become the mother of God. Why did she not spare Mary from all the pain? Can you imagine all the tears, all the sleepless nights of Mary, all the gossips in the community? Bira mang kentuan single mother. Bira mang kentuan mador sa dahin ko niya. So, can you imagine all the gossips, all the pain, but look, Listen to this. This is the working method of God. Now, and especially, a very special intention for the souls of the two brothers, the sons of Milano, names niya, no? Jeremias and Edwin, and then the little boy. Okay, please stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, and may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. We now have our lands.